rattles like a pig. Hormonal in that case. Mind the pain, mind the pain. Come on in. <laughs> Look at them all. Good morning. Calf feeding time, as usual. It is the 12th of March today. I've skipped a few days. We now have 40 calves, bang on the nose, 34 cows. We've had eight sets of twins. Ridiculous. This lot are fairly putting on the beef. I've just scraped out that passage, feed all this lot, feed all that lot, job done. I shifted all the cows with twins up to the far end and most of the cows that have calves, and I'm just giving that pen a good bit more grub. They've got more of a need to produce food for the calves because they've got two calves drinking off of them. So just make sure they've got plenty of grub. Grubs up, big lads. I've just received EID management tags for all my cows. So these are going to get labelled up with a letter and then a number corresponding to the year and whichever cow it is in that year. I am 10 tags short. Also, they don't go in chronological order. From here to here they do, and then they're a bit sporadic. That's the male side, totally blank, so we'll just get the reverse of what's going on here. So if that's a L7, that backside will be an L7 as well. This is taking slightly longer than I thought. That's 11 tags done. 71 to go. We need to go and fix a bit of field. It's broken. We've got an order of plough metal and various bits and bobs, so Kev sorted that all out, it's ready to go. These are the under points for the chap-ons. So the chap-on points go on there. That's the under point that holds the chap-on point on. Apparently you get, is it five? You get three points every time you need to change your under point or five points, I can't remember. I've got a couple of spare spits of those. Getting on really well with the chap-on points. They last a lot longer than we thought they would, which is good. Really easy to change, 10 minutes. Someone's given the forklift a wash. This is all needing uh, some TLC. And then a job to add to the list. A while back, we headed up into this field with a digger to a wet spot and dug a hole. Dug a few holes actually. Find a wee clay pipe. Couldn't find the other end of it. Water was all bubbling up. Couldn't find the other end of it to try and make a new joint or repair it. And then it just kind of went wet and we never got back to it. Up in that corner, you can see Daz just headed up there with a trailer because there is some stones to shift anyway. The digger's up there already. You'll be thinking we should have got this done ages ago so that we can get the plowing finished. But um, that's all carrot ground that's been obliterated so that needs a good bit of time to rest before the plowing keeps going. So we'll get it done now and we're probably not going to be back in here with the plow for a week yet. Probably want to get in there with the grubber first. We've got the jump leads yoked up. This pile of stones is going in that trailer, bar this big one. Dad's going to take that down to the car park at the shop because we've got more people driving on a bit of grass. So, plonk a stone in the way. Give it a shake. Just give it a... Save this spilling all over the car park. Dad's going to get that down, I'm going to dig over there and just try and find this pipe again because I've lost it. Last week, Kev also levelled all, there was piles of dirt that was taken off the cleaner of the carrots and dumped back in that field. They're all just in heaps, so Kev went and levelled them all off. I was waffling a whole lot of nonsense, so... Diggers here. Up the field, down the field. We found a wee pipe that goes like that. We found a wee pipe that goes like that. So we're going to dig where they should join. So we're going to dig where we think the junction will be. Dad's way to fetch some draining rods, so that'll give us a wee bit more understanding. It's all an experiment, and I'm a scooby what I'm doing with pipes and whatnot. It's a bit of a dark art, getting water under fields to go where you want it, and finding where it's not, not going where you want it. Just clearing a bit of water here. We 
Okay, these draining rods go to almost bang on where we think the joint would be. And that pipe is blocked up to there. That's as far as we can get the draining rods down the way. So we're going to tie here first, I think. <laughs> what a mess. Anyway, um, they both flow into a stone drain, which isn't quite working well. So, stone drain turns a corner here and heads that way. Let's see if this is. It's wet, so. Open up a track and see if that water will flow. We have a solution. Well, it's not a solution. We just we found a spot where the, the stone drain is still flowing. It's not that. It's only a foot off the surface, really. So it's probably been quite compressed, um, filled up with silt and blocked up and the water can't get through it. So we're just gonna renew it, renew the stone drain or clean it out, put some new stones in to get it flowing to where we know the stone drain is flowing from. Quick overview, we have a pipe coming that way into here. We have a pipe coming down that way into here. That one is choked in that section. This one gets to here then is stuck. Stone drain from here turns the corner and goes that way choked all in here we've just dug it all out and found now just beyond that heap it is flowing that we're going to dig it right back to here make sure it's flowing reasonably well dig out all the stone drain that goes from there and up around the corner renew it so that the water can flow from that pipe from that pipe through that section into where it is still flowing I need to go and get an arrow a bucket i need to go and get some stone that stone that uh, came off the railway not that long ago it'll be perfect it's not ideal having proper pipes going into stone drain if anything you want it the other way around if you do have stone drains because stone drains can't take the volume of water a pipe can but the length of stone drain it is all the way through this field and the stage we're at with plowing and soon to be sowing it's not getting replaced because it's all plowed up right that's that cleared dad's taking that load away down the hill I'm just gonna plunk this here i'm gonna jump in that machine go and fetch an arrow bucket for this Hop in this machine. <laughs> oh, this machine that may, the doors may not work very well. The clutch may be quite high. It rattles like a pig. It definitely starts first time every time. The wing mirrors are just about hanging off. It's perfect. Just like a Land Rover should be. Yard two bound. We've got a trailer on now. She's a beauty. Rough, rough looking, but maybe too. I've only got one strap, so I'll just chuck the digger bucket in the back of the Land Rover. Watch it collapse. Mind the pain, mind the pain. Lovely. Voila. Just quickly check the cows. Uh. New bull calf. She's still looking quite wide. I'm gonna check her for her twins. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Come on, hey. That's it. One glove. Right, we'll just have a feel about. Nothing straight away. Nah, she's all good. Right, you're good to go, beast. I just put these shoulder bars back so she couldn't rattle about when I was having a wee feel. Right, you're good to go, pal. Jobs are good. Come on, beast. Let's go. Is that going to fall over? Nah. Might rattle about a bit, but it's golden. Oh, ho, first time. That's because it's warm. Yard one. With a bit of ID on my fingers. Gonna grab some of that stone off of the railway. Dad's just loading it up just now. That's the bucket I brought along. I'm gonna take this tractor up. That'll take the forklift up. We'll need a bit, but we won't need loads of it. That still needs to make its way to the car park. It's a good size of stone, that. No one will run into that. Well, they might run into it, but it won't move. Concrete lorry. Builders are in today. I didn't realize they were pouring concrete today, though. Dad's just gonna open that. Drop a few stones out. Keep it up. Oh! Keep going. Open the back door just a touch. Out of the way, out of the way. 
Right, we've got a few in. It is 2024 and we are putting in stone drains. It's now an hour or so later. We've dug out the old stone drain, filled it in with the new stones. I'm gonna fill in everything other than this bit, let it dry out a bit, and the two bits of pipe we've uncovered, let the water get away and tidy up a lot of the mess we've made. Predictions, is this going to fix it? It seemed to be flowing beyond here. It seemed to be the stone drain there where it's quite shallow near the surface. It just silted up completely and the water was just bubbling up before it. What really needs to happen for a proper job, a pipe, a proper pipe put in from here, joining up that clay pipe, that clay pipe, and taking it right the way across that field, which I presume the stone drain here turns the corner and heads right across the field because there's a ditch on the other side and the field falls away all the way to the other side. Based on facts like she'll be there making self control came out of the old stone drain, get rid of that. There's a gate over here, I cleared a ditch a while back and there's a bit of rubbish lying there, so we'll just clean that up. We can see ourselves from the sky, although it's draining a wee bit and the drones are not meant to be flowing in the rain. Gonna leave all this open to dry. There was a there was some water there, so I chucked in some soil to raise the level to push it down that pipe. You can see it's all just come out now. And hopefully, doesn't look like it's moving too quick, but it should, under there, be disappearing. And that's that. Just shifting the digger. Tulips, look at them. Smashing, they're coming through really well. So we drowned out patch just here. That looked wettest all year, to be fair, but it's not too big a patch. Those two beds. It's probably the whole area will be about one and a half hectares of tulips. We've got alliums in there as well, actually. Just snip across Kev's neatly ploughed ground. This patch was in rye last year. That patch over there was the sunflowers. You get a belt of a crop of barley after sunflowers, anyway. You had two bound checking some cows. Hey, Doug. Good girl. Yeah. Good girl. Let's see if we've got any action. Just check that other calf from earlier has had a drink. She didn't. There she is over there. Having a drink. Splendid. I'm not heading that way because she's a nutter. She, every single time you come in the pen and come within, I'd say five meters, she runs at you. She's not too long calves, so she's just a bit hormonal slash nutcase. So.